what are in these mystery boxes? We're gonna find out today. So a month or so ago, Copic had on their website or on their Instagram, they're like, sign up to get these mystery boxes for $35 and it, there was a limit of two. And I was like, of course I have to get it. I wanna see what I can get. If I can get some new colors, some new markers. So we're gonna check it out. I've got the first box. So it sounds good, right? This one's a little bigger and we'll see which one is worth more too. So that one feels a little bigger. We'll see what they are. So I'm trying to figure out which one should I open first? I think I'm gonna open the smaller one. Okay, so we're gonna open this box. And then whatever we get in here, we're gonna swatch today. So we'll add it to what I don't have or maybe have to make something new for it. I don't know. So here we are opening the box. Okay. So I'm gonna show you guys. First thing in here, oh my gosh, something fell out. I might have to put on my glasses for this because yeah, so I can read these things. The first, oh my gosh, what, these are interesting. So this is, these are like, oh, it's a little keychain, a little Copic keychain with the Copic markers on it. Miniature keychain for the Copic markers. That is so cute. Okay, the next thing, we got some Copic sketch. We'll see if I have these colors already. This is a 10% off. I'm not gonna show it because it has a little, well, I'll do this. So it says 10% off my purchase. This is, oh, this is really cool. It's like a little bag to put markers in, I believe. All right, that's cool. So if there's like a, your favorite set, 24. 24 Copic markers in there, which I have more than that. They're all back here. You can see that's my set. All right, hopefully, we'll see. Oh, this is cute. It's Copic Maniacs Magna, Mag, May, manga illustration coloring and materials. So let's open it and see what it looks like. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So it teaches you techniques of how to use the markers. That's really cool. So I'm definitely gonna use that. And then let's see, oh, some more markers. Some more colors we'll have to see if i have these i'm not sure this is does it have a set name i'm not sure what that one is and that is it from that one so i got a total of let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine markers and then i've got like coloring book and some other stuff we'll put how much it was worth later so now we're gonna open this one they said you can get a set we'll see i'm kind of hoping for that but i'm not sure because the last one's small this one's big i don't know if this is just like extra inventory okay this one Let's open it. Oh, it's got tissue paper. It's got this kind of stuff in it. Okay. Oh my. So we got another keychain. We opened the other one. This is, looks like the same colors. Another keychain. Ooh, we got some Copic Chow markers. We'll have to look at the colors. So these ones, the colors are on the bottom. And then we got Guilty Gear, Gear Stripes. So I think these are more Copic Chow markers. And then another bag that we already have. I wonder if they had the extra bags. Oh, and this is like paper. That's really cool. So some paper. So I didn't get a complete set. I was kind of hoping for like a big set because they said you, you could get that in there but i got some paper we'll have to use that and then 
this is what this one looks like so this box was a little bit nicer it says if you can see that the markers for creative people blendable customizable refillable copic and then it has like their socials on it so we're gonna go through i'll let you guys know how much this was worth it's at they said it was at least worth 70 dollars each so 140 because i paid 35 each for these so you have no idea what you're getting it's a mystery box okay we are gonna go through and see what colors i got here are all the markers that i got so i was hoping for like the 72 set but i did not get it but it's fine so we got some markers and we'll see what we already have um, I can show you how I store my other markers. So I have this sheet available. This is like all the markers on one page. And then these are sheets where it's, I've sorted them by like color families. Lots and lots of color families. So hopefully we'll add to this. We won't get duplicates. I think we might have some, especially with this one, because I already have like this set like a bold set I'm wondering if I could like exchange them somehow and be like hey can I um exchange these okay so first off we're gonna look at this so 100 I know I already have we're gonna come over here so 100 would be black and I know I have black b29 b29 I do have b29 e29 you know, I should save these and give them to my daughter. E29. E29, yes. G28. Let's see. Okay, I don't have G28. So that's one I don't have. And then R29. I don't have R29. Okay, and then Y15. And I don't have Y15. So actually, there were three markers in here that I don't have, so I'm gonna open them. I was thinking about like exchanging them, but since I don't have these three already, I can totally keep them. And then we'll look at these ones too, so we can swatch it all at the same time. I, I'm pretty sure I don't have these ones. Let's see, B97, I might. B97, nope, and then B21, nope, this is good, BG90, BG90, nope, I don't have that one either, so this is actually good, um, I got six markers, how much would this be worth, like seven times six, so I got my markers worth right there plus I got a carrying case I got a keychain right and I got this really cool book so I feel like that's kind of worth it and then let's look at this Cop the Copic Chow ones okay so we got R32 R32 I do have R32 Y06 I don't have Y06, um, YG06, YG06, I do have that one, B00, I feel like I have this one, nope, I don't, I have B000, but not that one, B05, I already have that one, and then B17, let's see, V17, Okay, V17, I have that one. Okay, so I think there was two in here that I didn't have. Hmm, that's okay. R37. R37. I don't have that one. R14. I don't. This one is a good one so far. B12, nope. Y15. I feel like that one's right here also so yes I just got that one so C7 
see where C7 at. Okay, C7 is down here. It's a gray. I do have all the grays. And then 0.3. I don't know if I see a 0.3 on here. Maybe that's a new color. Okay, so there were at least some I didn't have. We're gonna take them all out. Oh, because this one is a multi-liner. It's in sepia. That's really cool. And then these. Those are, this is a really pretty color palette. I'm going to probably not keep it in this box, but you know, I'm going to put it with my other ones. So I got all these for about 70 plus. I got some paper and um, I got really cool keychains. I got bags to put them in. That's really cool. I think this is a keychain. You could put this on your keychain. Okay, so we're gonna swatch these out real fast. If you wanna see the video where I did all the other ones, you can see that too. So now I have enough to fill like another sheet. Um, I probably won't do that for a while until I get like a ton more. But let's do this. Gonna put this under here. So we're gonna start with this one. It is G28. And then I can put this one away today. Next one is R29. Oh my gosh, that one's really thick. Okay. The next one is Y15. I have a good yellow spectrum here. The next one is BG90. That one's very light. Okay, next one is B21. Baby blue. Another good one to add. Next one is B97. Okay, now we're gonna get into these ones here. And I forgot to pull out the ones I already have, so we'll see. Okay, um, R37, so this is a Copic Chow. It's a little bit smaller. They're still worth a good amount, but they, they just don't have as much ink is basically the difference between the two. The nibs are gonna be the same. So they function the same. It's just one of them has more ink and might last a little bit longer than the others. So they both have this chisel tip on the bottom. But there's just more ink in this one than there is in this one. So this one's R37. And we did not have that one. Okay, we got R14 next, light rouge. Next one, I think we, yeah, we B12. 12, which we didn't have. Oh, I totally forgot. We have another chart too. We'll do that one after this one. Okay, and then we've got, this one is Y15, which we know that we already have, Y06. And you'll notice the names are not on any of these. They're only in this. So you have to get the name from somewhere else. Y06. 
How did I not have yellow? Oops. Y06. I'm like, how did I not have yellow before? Okay, this one is R32. I might have already had that one. Yes, I had that one already. This one is YG06. Yep, I already have that one. Okay, um, B00. I know I didn't have that one. And then this one is V17. I do already have that one. And then this one is B05. And I do already have that one. And I already had this one. So in all in all, to see if it was worth it, I got, let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colors already had. And I got let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven colors I didn't already have. So that was kind of nice. We're gonna come over here. I'll show you this one. This is another chart that we're gonna do. So I'm gonna kind of arrange these by color order on the side over here. So that way we can just do them all at the same time. Okay, so I don't know if we have anything on this page. This is like a peach page. Uh, gray, we already have them, right? Okay, so this green and yellow blue we might have down here so um oh look at this this is my printer can you see how like my printer is like it i think it looked good when i printed it but it doesn't look as good now okay so b21 is baby blue here I don't know if this little mark means it's a duplicate because I have more duplicates too. But I like, it's, I'm gonna take a picture of actually this one. So that way, if I'm at the store or anything, I know what I already have because once you start collecting these B12, it might be hard to like know what you have. So blue ice I just got. Okay, this one is B00. Frost blue. So I have a little mark on here. I wonder what that means. I probably should go watch my own video on that, right? So I can figure out what, I, what it means. This is the yellow side. And we did get Y06 yellow and Y15. Again, I have this one marked, which I don't know why. Hmm, very interesting. My, I would love to have all these. I just, there are so many, this one is Y06. There are so many markers. Markers are so expensive. So I'm like, I want all the markers, but I just can't afford them. So I. Get them as I can. Our 14th, the last one I got was actually our 14. Where is this one? I have our 14. Um, I got some from someone sent me his, and that was very nice, Jason. And then I also went to Hobby Lobby when they were clearing some out. So I got a bunch for $2 each, which is really good. This one's R37. Okay. 
lipstick red. Again, that one's marked, but I don't know why. I was ho really hoping to get a big case, but they're like, you can get a big case. And I was like, oh, I want one. B97, I was like, if I just... And then G28 is up here. Again, marked. I don't know why. So our last one is BG90. So what? Let me see what color that was. Oh, it was like a gray sky one. Oh, it's down here. I found it. Okay, so it's on this one. And I will let you know the paper I printed these out on because this one's a little bit heavier so that way you guys can know. Okay, BG90. So I just wrote all these things and I realized I wasn't my video was on. So I did a happy holidays, but I just realized I'm going to probably release this around the new year. So I'm going to write happy new year on here. Okay. And actually record it. So I discovered that I think this is, um, I think this is the copy paper. Happy. And then I just wrote happy holidays again. Oh no, happy new year is what I was gonna write. Okay, so this one, these are super light. Happy. Okay. New, and I'll do the other one in this one. And then what I did with the other one is I used the, the gray to come in here and do the shadows. Oh, this one's gonna be, I feel like this, you'd probably want a different one for this one. Or we can do the trick that I was showing when I had the camera off. Okay. Um, was it this one I used? No, it was this one. Okay. Right? No. Oh, maybe it was this one. Okay, so what you can do is come in here. And kind of do it a little bit more. So we're going to show, I'm going to show you real fast. So this is how these work. You can layer the Copic markers. Then and here we'll just do the final one. So you can see how that gets darker. You can do this with, I'll try this yellow. Can you see that great graduation of color?
Oh, okay, and then we're gonna try this one. So this one's pigment based. And we're gonna, oh my gosh, that one's super thin. Okay, we're gonna write 20, 24. This is really cool. So you could use this like with your writing, like oh, they gave us browns in this one, right? Lots of browns or reds, I can't remember. Um, so if I like wrote my name, You could come in here and like do some outlines with it. Kind of what I did before above, but just do the outlines. See, isn't that cute? Then you can come in with gray too. So this one is really good for like, they pair it well with all these colors. I also wanted to show you how I store my Copics. I put the new ones that I got already on the shelf and I keep them that way. And if I get more Copics, I'll just add more of this Crafters Companion shelves and I'll leave that in the link below so you guys can get that for yourself too. I'm doing some more research. I found out that the Copic Crate, this specific set of colors was only in the Copic Crate box, which is what I got. Uh, the color's not in here anymore, but the ones that were in here. And then this one was also a limited edition. Also, I think this one was available for sale. It had the colors listed on the bottom. This does not have the colors listed on the bottom, so it was only available in the crate. I also found out, <laughs> I opened this up and I found out that there's different keychains and they have different color combinations. And so here's the one on the back. So let's see which ones I got because I did not get the same ones. So the first one that I got was like this purple butterfly one on the back right here. I think you can only get these in Japan. There is some English writing on them. You, you might be able to get them here, but I'm not sure. So what did I think of this Copic crate? Well, I was really hoping to get like a big set of Copics. I did get colors I didn't already have. Like as far as like financially worth it to me, it's probably about the same as buying the markers individually. I did get a few extra things. I got a bag to put the markers in. I got some keychains. I got some paper and I got a book. The book might have been limited edition too. So. I mean, I got some stuff, like if you're a big Copic fan, it's probably worth it. I want to get all the markers and I was just hoping to luck out <laughs> and get some more markers, but that was not the case with the, this Copic Crate unboxing this year. We'll have to see next year if they have the same thing and I'll see what I get in that box. What would you guys think? Do you guys think it's worth it to get these boxes? Uh, I know I was hoping to get the big one, uh, the where they said you could get like a whole set, but it didn't happen. Uh, let me know what you guys think and what you would have taken from this box if you could have anything in this box. And I hope you have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.